Hi, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create faux calligraphy on your iPad in Procreate. And the example project, you can find a free download here which contains this example. And this gives you the step-by-step -step components of how you can build uh, letter forms and make a, le a word to look as if it was written in one pass with calligraphy with a pressure sensitive brush. But in fact, we're actually just using a monoline brush and building these components on top of each other. So a couple of points to note, I'll point these out as we go along, but just um, to be aware of is that you want your thick strokes to be consistent. So the thick strokes are generally the down stroke that you make. So if you're using a pressure sensitive tool with real, real calligraphy, the down stroke has the pressure and that's where you get that thickness from. And the up stroke is, is with a lighter pressure and therefore it's thinner. But you wanna make sure that your stroke thickness in the thickest part of the, the down stroke is consistent throughout the whole word. So keep an eye out for that. And another thing, we need to just make sure that uh, it's a really easy mistake to, to, to make when you first start of where to transition into the thick stroke. So some people might start up here and it's it's not quite that way. It should start sort of down a little bit further than you expect and it smoothly transitions. So you kind of want to start your thick part of that letter just up along the main stem and then transition into your thick stroke. So that's something else to just keep an eye on as well. But um, anyway, let's get into it. You can see that there's the guide layer here of faux calligraphy and a practice layer here. So I'm going to use this practice layer first. And we're gonna start, step one is to create the outline of the word. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So I'm drawing over the top, I'm just tracing it so that, you know, this project is set up. So you just get an idea of how the strokes are put together. So you can go ahead and follow along and trace uh, the layers and get a feeling for how that sits together. So the B might feel a little odd because we're sort of starting, it's it's more, uh, we're, we're drawing, if you imagine, on the left-hand side of this stroke. So it, it might feel a little bit funny if you're used to drawing your Bs using normal calligraphy. So we're just drawing the inside of that letter to begin with, and then we're gonna fill out the um, width of it. And when you're spacing these letters, just kind of keep in mind that you're adding the thickness later. So they don't sort of need to be, um, it might look a little far spaced, like a um, sparsely spaced, but that's that will come together when we add the thickness. Okay, so there's your first stage is the outline. Um, and what I would suggest to do here is take a backup of this layer. Just simply um, swipe to the, the layer icon to the left and choose duplicate to create a backup. And I just say to do this just because, you know, if you get to the next stage and something messes up and you want to go back, you've always got that backup there. But again, we are all going to take another copy because what I'm going to do is just move this down. You know, there's, we've already done the outline here, so there's no point sort of redoing that. But this guide is going to show you how you can add that weight to your strokes with the initial outline. So if you just place your outline uh, as it lines up on the second stage two uh, line, you'll be able to now use the outline to just um, extend on those strokes. So the second part, we're going to um, fill in the width of the stroke. And the great thing about Procreate is you can adjust and pan your screen. And what you might find is you might feel a bit more comfortable coming in this direction. Sometimes pulling a stroke towards you is easier than um, you know drawing it outwards. So if you find that easier, it's really easy. Just pan your screen with two fingers and spin it around and you get full flexibility there. And now we're gonna increase on our B. Okay, so, so what I was saying before about the taper, you just kind of want that taper to start a little bit earlier. So slide down the already existing outline and you'll get a nice transition. So that's the second part of the B. Something I wanna um, just point out too, with any letters that are overlapping and coming through another side, such as this B or even the crossbar of the T that it's going through the middle, 
Um, what you want to keep an eye on is that the overlapping stroke matches up. So it's best to make those strokes in one go if you can, just so that you kind of get that feel that it's it's real, it's a real crossover and not disjointed and that you know these two lines not meeting up. So that's always a, a good little tip to, to make. Um, now you just might have to uh, move things around a little bit if like you saw mine wasn't quite meeting up and that's fine you know this is just to give you an idea and you can um, you could even have traced this whole layer again if you wanted to get it precisely but um, for now we'll just carry on here so again the taper is starting sort of into the existing uh, downstroke here and the A like this and if you go outside the line, you can just um, either use your eraser up here, this is your eraser, or just two fingers tap, it doesn't matter which fingers you use, just two of them on the screen tap un undoes your last action. And three fingers is a, um, a quick way to redo. So Procreate is, I'm sure you guys have used it before probably, but if you're new, that's a great like tip to know. Okay, so we'll just do the A. I'll speed this bit up. There you have it. There's our second step, which is the outline of the downstrokes. So now we've got the, the word looking very much like it would um, with the thickness of the downstrokes. So I'm going to duplicate this here and just bring it down to the fourth line so that you can see it clearly. Uh, and this is like the third step outlined here, which is color drop to fill. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So basically we just need to drag the color. So um, use whatever you've been using. I've been using black. You could use any color on your outline. Um, and basically you just want to sort of zoom in so you've got a good image here and you just drag your color circle into those white spaces that you've got and that fills that um, space up for you. So it's a really handy little um, trick and if that happens, see how the black just filled the screen? It's most likely I just missed or there's a little gap. So just keep an eye out if you can see any unclosed spaces, this won't work. But it's just a, a quicker and easier way than kind of coming in and coloring, coloring each white segment in. It's just a really quick way to do that. But hey, if you enjoy coloring in those white segments, because sometimes this stuff isn't just to get it done quickly, is it? It's an enjoyment thing. So if you really enjoy doing that, then go ahead by all means. Um, but if you're in a little bit more of a time sensitive um, matter or you just want to get it done, you just simply color drop and that will fill those white spaces. So I'm almost done here. Really quick. Uh, and there you have it. And the, th the final step is to just um, make sure that your strokes are actually entering the letter so it's not, there's no sort of disjointed parts. So you can smooth those out or if you came outside the line, you know, you can get your eraser and um, just make sure that there's no parts that aren't um, consistent. And I've just noticed as well, the F needs to kind of join up here a little bit further. So I just miss, I didn't estimate properly where that was, uh, where that thick stroke was gonna go, but that's always something that you can refine um, at the last stage. Excellent, so that is folk calligraphy and it's a really great technique to know. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope um, you know it makes it quite easy. You can see the steps that you can take to practice folk calligraphy on, your, on Procreate on your own. Thanks for joining me again and I'll see you next time.